What's up everybody, welcome to my channel Illuminations Art, oh, I'm Scott and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So it's Sunday and you know what that means on this channel, it's going to be a tutorial video. Now this tutorial video is going to be another one of my favourite booster packs, it's going to be my lot box booster pack. And I've got two ways that you can actually make these and I'll be uploading the templates as always to the Home Forge Games Facebook community page. So let's quickly take a look. So this is the standard slot version, you got my back there. And you got the front there, and this holds really well nine cards, as you can see, with no tape. There is no tape there. And the next version I'll be showing you how to make is with Velcro, which is right there. And again, just like the slot one, this holds nine cards perfectly. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to now go for a rundown of things that you're going to need to make these. Obviously, the first thing you're going to need is your choice of card. I'm using Photo Card, which is about 200 GSM. You can go higher, but don't go any higher than 300 GSM because otherwise your cards are going to be too thick. And then you're going to need a good pair of scissors. For the Velcro one, you're going to need some Velcro dots, which is obviously your two types of Velcro so they can connect. And I will leave a link in the description box below where I got these from. The next thing you're going to need is a craft knife to help cut the slot out on the slot version which is obviously how it locks and holds together and lastly but not leastly is a ruler to help you do the folding and once you've got all that you're ready to go so now i'm going to jump to my computer and show you exactly how to use the template how to lay everything out so without further ado let's head to the computer and now we're on my computer, I'm going to show you my templates that I'll be using for this tutorial. Now I will be uploading these templates to the Homeforge Games Facebook page so you can download them and use them for yourself and follow this tutorial to make your booster packs just like I'm doing. Now if you do use my booster packs, as I say in my videos guys, please give me some credit and a shout out because I take the time and the effort to do these templates, measure them all up for you guys so you don't have to take the time to do so. So when you get the templates downloaded and loaded into your actual software of choice like me, Photoshop, you you can just add your artwork and print them off and make the boxes or any of the other tutorials that I have done. So that is why I just ask if you do use my, my templates guys just give me a thumbs up, a shout out and a credit. That's all I ask. Anyway, as I said and done guys, basically the two templates we're going to be taking a look at for today is my old way that I used to make my actual booster lock boxes, that's what I kind of call them, because they lock at the back once you fold them together, which means you need no glue. And as you can see guys, there's a tab right here and a slot right here. And that basically means guys, once it's all folded up, that tab will fit into that slot and lock your box up. But for the second version, my new version, I'm going to be using Velcro. So I'm going to put in Velcro right here and Velcro right here. And that should hold the box together, hopefully more securely. But both ways work really well. So depending on which method you like, I will be uploading, I say, both of these templates. But now I'm just going to run down the template of where things are going to go. So this middle piece obviously is going to be the front of the booster pack. Then you've got the hinges here that hold the cards together. And then you've got the back pieces here. So that is the actual under tab that goes first. And then this piece wraps over and connects to it. So you should have your back artwork on here. And then have like a little colour or logos or something on this piece. But that is basically the layout of both the templates. Both the templates are exactly the same. It's just one has a slot and a tab and one doesn't. And now that I've run you through the template and showed you how to map things out, I'm going to now rush ahead and do my artwork for my booster pack boxes and I'll be right back.
And there we go guys, that is my booster pack box artwork all done. As you can see, you can see at the front of my booster pack where that is right here. But another key note to make is to make sure when you're using this booster pack guys that you have the text the other way around. So when you fold it and it's folded and put all together, the text reads and it's right way up. So just the key note there, that is why my text is upside down compared to the front of my booster pack right there. And the same with my copyright as well. That little part of the box needs to have the text if you're going to put text there. Because when you fold it up, you want to make sure you have the text the right way up. And as you notice, when I turned the lockbox template off and actually left on my Velcro one, it took off the tab. So what we need to do now is indicate where we want to put our Velcro. And we want our Velcro where that line used to be just about down here. So just to help me out, I'm just going to get a little dot. So we want our Velcro just above that line. Because obviously we don't have that tab anymore. So we just want to go up a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. And I'd say about there and I'm going to leave that there to indicate where I'm going to put my velcro circles so I can turn the slot lock template back off leaving the velcro one on and now we've got our indicator of where we actually want to put our velcro piece so I'm just going to save this now now that we've saved them guys just going to run you through the print settings and the print settings is going to be exact same for both because they are technically the same templates just one's going to be locked using the tab and one's going to be locked how to get it with velcro so all we need to do is make sure we've got our printer name selected our paper size is a4 and our quality is high i always use high resolution paper just because it gives me more depth of color but if you haven't got high resolution paper any photo glossy paper will do and then make sure on both of them you've got a fit picture to frame on and once you've got that, just hit print and hit print. And I'll be back once these are printed off. And after that, you should end up with something a lot like this. So I've got my two templates all printed off. The next thing I need to do is cut these out. So I'll be right back. Now that I've got them cut out, I've just got a little bit of preparation work to do, especially on this one here, which is just cutting that slot out. So all I need to do is just grab my craft knife and for our tab lock one we just need to go down this line here and uh, just double check yeah we're cut through and then preparation for this one is just the velcro tab which I have these and I will leave a link in the description box below where I got these from and we just place our velcro right there and we're good to go. So next thing we need to do is just fold these up. So I'm going to get my ruler. And to help me out, I'm going to score these by going to the back. And with the edge of my scissors, just carefully score the lines. Just not too hard because you don't want to obviously rip the card. And now we can start folding them up. So we're going to start with the Velcro one first. So I'm just going to work on the side fold. And then with our ruler, just give it a careful squeeze. And again on the hinge, squeeze. And that's our fold and the hinge all done. You want to carefully tuck these little tabs in. And now we just need to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now I need to work on our top and our bottom. I want to bring this on the hinge first and then give it a good squeeze and then bring it back on the top hinge and then pat down and that's that one all done. Same method for the top. And what we're going to do now, we're going to grab our nine cards because this is a nine card booster pack. So I've got my nine cards, plonk them in. Now, first thing you need to do is bring the folds over because these help the cards stay in the box. And then the tabs, like that. And then we bring our bottom on and our top. And now we can see where the Velcro piece needs to go. So literally under that circle. And now we can put our Velcro down. 
And that's our first booster pack all done with a nice Velcro lock instead of the slot lock. So that is one down and one to go. So it's the same verse literally as the first verse. We're just going to be folding our sides down first. So we need to put our cards now in the middle. Bring the sides up. And then obviously the difference between the Velcro and this one is the slot. So you need to now bring the slot up. And now we can now bring the tab down. And there we go guys. So that's my booster packs all done with two different ways that you can use the lock mechanism. You can either use the slot lock or the Velcro lock. But that is basically how to make my booster packs. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So now we're at the point guys where I'm going to wrap up the video now. So this is how to make my booster packs and actually be able to lock them in two different ways. And as you can see, the Velcro one, they, it does not come unstuck. And with the lock slot one, again, it does not come unstuck. So there are two different ways that you can make my booster pack boxes. As I say, I will leave a template of both of them on the Home Forge Games community Facebook page. That is where you'll find all my templates. And as I said earlier, guys, if you do use my templates, just give me a shout out and some credit because I do take the time and the effort to make these templates for you guys. So you haven't got to spend ages measuring them yourselves. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. What do you think of this booster pack? Is there any other tutorials you would like to see or me to make anything for homemade TCGs as a tutorial you would like to see? Again, if there is, let me know in the comment section below. I've got loads of tutorial videos coming up on a Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button because Sundays is the day I do tutorials. But during the week, I have loads of speed art videos on the way. So I've got tons of speed art videos coming up. And I've also got my January secret release coming, which is why there's a new template and a new pattern emerging because my game is going to look a lot different when January turns up. But I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm going to let you guys wonder what's going on and wait till January. But anyway, and remember guys to check out all the links and everything that you need to know in the description box below. Like the Home Forge Games community facebook page link my game crafter link where you can pick up my game from the game crafter or if you want to pick up my homemade version of my game i have got a sale on right now between 10 10 to 20 percent off but that's only available on my facebook page which is illuminant art studio right in the description box down there with all that said and done guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support thank you to everyone that watches my videos and subscribes you are all amazing but until the next time guys, have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye guys.